and welcome to News Now, Belmont Journal, news show and community update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today with us, we have the pastor of Beacon Community Church, Dane Helson. Welcome to being here. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. We would like to learn more about the Beacon Community Church using our beloved cinema. Yes, so uh, our church has been in the cinema since October of 2018. Um, we love the space. Uh, our, our friend Jim Bramante, who was the previous owner, allowed us to start renting it in 2018. Uh, very generous to us, uh, allowed us to rent it for, you know, very, very affordable price. Um, and two months into the rental, he pulled me aside one morning before our church had actually started. We were just setting up. And he said, you know, Dane, uh, I'm ready to transition from this business. Um, I see how beneficial it is to you and, and the great job that you all are doing in the community. Would you be interested in buying it? And I nearly fell over. I thought he was going to ask us to no longer you know, be, be his tenants um, for whatever reason. But no, that was not it. He, he, he wanted us to to consider buying the property. Um, he's, he's always had a heart for the community. He's used that space for birthday parties, graduation parties, art exhibits. And I love that about uh, his heart for the community because that, that really reflects what we wanna do. We love the idea of people, no matter their spiritual background, coming to this place to explore the message of our church, which is a message of hope uh, through Christianity. So um, anyway, we, we, we were very interested, went through a long process of researching the condition of the building, and then ultimately put an offer in, and it was accepted by him, and we, we closed in September 2020 is when we bought the property. And talking about the, the building, you, you mentioned it's, it's a pretty old building. How old is it? It was built in 1920. Um, in fact, I was in the attic the other day, and there are old surveys from 1938 when the cinema was polling the community to see if they would be in favor of showing movies on Sundays. All of the pastors in town were opposed to it. That was uh, the, the uh, blue light law days. And so they didn't want any movies. The Protestant pastors were outraged about that. Um, but anyway, I found these old, hundreds of these old surveys because the theater owner then was trying to determine, should we show movies on Sunday or not? But there's all kinds of old artifacts up in the attic and we've had fun exploring that. But yes, it's a 102 year old building. It's always been a theater. Even before there was sound in movies, um, it, 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 was, it was a theater. And so single screen, um, one big space, uh, many of our neighbors have been in it obviously. Um, and it, it we have done some work on it. It's needed some TLC. And so we've done some good projects, a new roof, some renovations with wall repairs and some water damage that had happened over the years. So we've done some work there. More recently, we've done some work on the lobby and the bathrooms, which really needed, needed a facelift. And so, but it is an old building. Um, it's been a theater all during that time. And in 2020, we were able to, to purchase it and use it as our church. Yeah, it's looking really good. And um, can you tell us a little bit on what are you planning to do um, to continue gathering with the community? I know you you said you were doing Saturday's free movies. Will you continue to do that? Yes, we, we loved, uh, from the time that our church started in 2015, so, so our church is almost seven years old, and the first three years we met at Avalon Dance and Fitness Studio at 345 Trapello Road, uh, which was a, a great facility for us. We just outgrew it in those first three years. And during that time, though, we had been renting from Jim Bramante on Saturdays, one Saturday a month. We would show a free movie, usually a Disney movie or a Curious George movie, and invite our neighbors. And a lot of people loved that, you know, and it was a great thing. Now, COVID did stop that. Um, we, we recently did show a, a, a Christmas mute movie for my, my son's preschool, um, which is Plymouth Nursery School right in Belmont Center. So 
Uh, we would love to start that back up. And now that things with COVID seem to be subsiding, thankfully, we, we would love to, to um, have movies there periodically. We have a basketball camp every summer. Last summer, the final day was, was rained out. It was just a downpour. So we invited all the kids who came to the camp into our facility on a Friday for games, popcorn, and we showed a basketball movie, Space Jam. So it's just, it's a great gathering space. You don't have to describe where it is for people. They, they know the theater. And so it's a really easy invitation. And so, um, it, you know, a, a friend across the street at a bilingual school is going to use it uh, in August for graduation, you know, so we, we, we love letting the neighborhood step into the building and use it for purposes that, that are suitable to them. So yeah, we, we want it to be a community gathering point. So that's a great, it's a great thing. It's a great asset. Awesome. And now you're inviting uh, the community for an egg hunt. Can you share about that? Yeah. So we were able to uh, secure a permit from the rec department. Uh, so we'll be uh, using part of PQ Park, which is just down the street from our church. Uh, it's a great space. Uh, we love going there. Our kids love the playground. We love to play basketball. So uh, we're going to be there on Saturday, April 16th, which is the weekend of Easter. And we'll have an egg hunt uh, for kids ages 10 and under. And we'll have three different age groupings so that the older kids don't ransack and get all the eggs and the younger ones are left with zero eggs. So we'll have three different age groups. Um, I, I don't know if you've ever been to an egg hunt before, but they're over in a matter of minutes uh, because of the kids just going after the eggs. So we're also going to have some face painting, egg decorating, some other crafts, some refreshments. So it'll be a fun time from about 11 a.m. to noon uh, on Saturday, April 16th. So we're really looking forward to it. We got a lot of volunteers that are going to help us. And again, it's it's a great way to to meet our neighbors and and have a fun time. And I think particularly in this difficult season that we've just come out of, I think people are really open to gathering and being together, seeing each other's faces without masks. So I, I really sense that there's a hunger for, for an event like this and just relationship, you know, and we just want to serve our neighbors. Like that's the heartbeat of our church is to love people as Jesus has loved and served us. So, so we just, as his followers, we want to, we want to extend that to people all around us um, who need that hope and who need that, that message. Great, so we are invited the community for an egg hunt at PQ Park. What date again and time? It'll be Saturday, April 16th at 11 a.m. right in PQ Park. PQ Park, don't miss it, save the date. Anything yeah. else you'd like to add? No, we hope, this, we hope that our friends can come. It'll be a, it'll be a wonderful time. And if, if anybody is interested, we love having visitors at our church. We meet at 10 a.m. on Sundays, um, every Sunday, and it's a, great, it's a great meeting space. So we love having newcomers visit with us. Thank you again for coming. That was it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time.